Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, it's Jen and Alice, and today we're going to show you some sequences, some, some ab curls uh, on the overball. So this is our air-filled ball. Um, you can, we're going to use a pretty much a full one with Alice, but you can also use a half-fold one too. So we're going to go down and the ball is going to be right at her mid-back and she's going to extend over. That feel good on your mm -hmm. spine? So for some people to let their head drop back onto the mat, it's too far, so you can always put a pillow or something under the head. So her legs and feet are going to be about hip distance apart and we'll give her a little bit of help. We'll bring a ball into the inner thighs and then go ahead and place your hands behind the head so you can just cross one hand over the other, bringing the elbows slightly up. Good, and right now she has the apex of the ball sort of right at her bra line. So take a deep inhale, and then on the exhale from your ribs, you're gonna bring your head and your shoulders up. And as she curls up, I want her to keep thinking about sending the head back into her hands and kind of ushering the back of the head up towards the ceiling. And then on the next exhale, slowly lower yourself back down. Does the ball feel like it's in a good place? Okay, so scoot down a little bit. Yeah, and there's a number of different places that the ball could be along the mid-back, right? So if it doesn't feel like you're in quite the right place, you can scoot down a little bit or up a little bit. So take a deep inhale again, and then on the exhale, we want to do this from the rib cage spine, carrying the head and shoulders up. The head and the shoulders are the passengers. Good, and then on your next exhale, slowly descend back down. Great, and so now she's gonna come into an oblique curl. It's really nice to do this with the air-filled ball because you're getting all of this proprioceptive feedback. So let's have the left armpit to the right knee. So elbows go up, and again, you're doing this oblique curl from the rib cage spine. And she should feel like all the air is being pushed into that left side of the ball and then on the exhale, slowly coming back down. Good, and now to the other side. So she slightly curls and then we want the armpit to the opposite knee. Yep, and then gently back down. Let's do one more in each direction. So you're gonna curl up and I want her to think about her spine crown of the head as a carousel pull. Yeah, so you want to bring this rib cage under you. Yeah, that's enough. And we want symmetrical length in both sides of the, the, um, the waist as much as possible. And then back over. And one more, elbows lift up. And armpit to the knee. Good. Nice, that was very good on that side. And come back down. Let's do one more towards the camera. Um, so go ahead and really think about lengthening through the side. Yeah, there you go. That's much better. Good, and then all the way back down and rest. <laughs> all right, so to finish this, it's a little bit of around the world. Don't worry about making it too big. All right, so she's gonna come up into her little curl and then she's gonna go into an oblique curl. Good, and then she's gonna go back over and then up and over. Nice, and then back to center, and armpit towards the knee, and back over. Good, pelvis is staying in place. Some people call this the stop sign. Good, and then go in the opposite direction. Oh, it's so hard, but the ball really helps you. Let the ball be a fulcrum for the movement. Mm -hmm. Good, and one more. Good, nice, and then all the way over and relax. Excellent. That last version is really hard. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.